Hello, this is D, and I'm back with another video. Well, NVIDIA just finished wrapping up their keynote event for CES 2019, and boy, did they drop some interesting news. Now, first, I want to talk about NVIDIA's 65-inch 4K HDR gaming display that will arrive in February for $4,999. Now, this is made by HP Omen, and it is looking to be a capable display. Now, it will be a full array local dimming system with 340 independent dimming zones. It will be capable of 800 to 8,000 nits and it will deliver 4K 144 hertz. Now with the price tag at $5,000, I will say though that it is a very expensive price for this type of monitor when you see that LG and Samsung do have displays that are capable of free sync capabilities of up to 120 hertz for a fraction of this price. Now I expect you to be able to get at least for $2,000, a very decent FreeSync TV at 65 inches. Now, of course, this is really good for those out there that can afford it and do have a G-Sync capable GPU. Well, I guess this is a great monitor for you, but I just think it's very overpriced. Now, for the last few days, or I should say weeks, we've been getting some speculation on the RTX 2060. Well, NVIDIA officially announced that their keynote event at CES is going to have 52 tensor flops. 5 gig arrays per second and 6 gigabytes of GDDR6 memories and it will be priced at 349 US dollars. Now I don't think the price is really too bad because you are getting greater performance than a GTX 1070 and it is capable of ray tracing. It's nothing amazing, it's just there and for those that are looking for a capable ray tracing card and they don't want to break the bank, this is a good solution for them. Now I apologize to you guys for my raspy voice. It is very late in the morning and the keynote just wrapped up and I want to get this video out to you guys as soon as possible. NVIDIA also introduced some GeForce RTX laptops. Apparently they will be bringing 40 different models and they will begin selling them on the 29th of January. You'll be able to get a 2060, 2070, and a 2080. Jensen was holding up the 2080 and he said, look, I have a next gen console in my hands. Now is he hinting to the performance that we can expect on the next generation consoles or was he just mucking around? I found it interesting that he did say that nonetheless and I have to say if the next generation consoles are giving performance like an RTX 2080, a lot of gamers out there will be extremely satisfied. Now the most surprising announcement that came out of Nvidia's keynote event was a list of FreeSync monitors that will be made compatible with the G-Sync technology. There's a bunch of Ace Sir, Asus, Aegon, AOC, and BenQ monitors, and I will leave a link of them in the description down below, and you can see them on the screen for yourself right now. Now, apparently, there's going to be a lot more monitors that will be added to the list. They have a strict criteria of what they think is capable of doing G Sync. Apparently, only select models will become G Sync compatible that have the FreeSync technology in them. Now, I don't know what's going to happen behind the scenes, but I do know that these monitors are adaptive sync capable, so G Sync can work on a FreeSync monitor. We've seen this for months now. A lot of people on Reddit and, you know, of course, on YouTube have been doing testing with an NVIDIA GPU and an AMD GPU and enabling FreeSync on it. And, of course, FreeSync was working on the G Sync monitors. So I have to say this is pretty cool that NVIDIA is adding at least some capabilities on some FreeSync monitors for their G-Sync enabled GPUs. Anyways, I thought it was kind of an interesting show. It wasn't really too much big news. Um, I think the biggest takeaway from here is the 2060 will be a good entry level RTX card that won't break the bank. Um, their laptops... Um, you know, the 2080s that are going to be in some of these laptops and the 2070s, of course, the form factor of these laptops, I just don't think they're going to be cheap laptops. I don't think they're going to be for, you know, everyday gamers. Um, they're going to be for enthusiasts. Of course, some of them will sell, but I don't think it's going to be a huge thing. If we look at the market currently, most people are buying the GTX 1050 or 1050 Ti in a laptop to play games on them. They're not really going all out and spending a lot of money on these laptops for the sole purpose of gaming. I could be wrong on this. And if I am, please leave it in the comment section down below. Anyways, I want to know what you guys think about NVIDIA's announcements. Let's discuss it. And like I usually say, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys on the next one.